Welcome to another 7-Minute Review with me, P the Critic. Today we have the Ninja Espresso and Coffee Barista System. If you've seen our first review, you know that we love coffee in our home and we use our Nespresso machines daily. We also like traditional American coffee. So when I first saw this unit, I was very excited and couldn't wait to get it and try it out. To be clear, this unit only works with the original line Nespresso capsules. That's these smaller ones here. It does not work with the larger virtual line capsule. Keep watching as we see how it does as a traditional coffee maker and as an espresso machine to compare. We'll even do an iced Americano and see how that does as well. For our first coffee test, we're going to do a single cup of coffee with the Ninja system and a single cup with our pour over. <laughs> One annoyance I found is that after you throw out your used grinds and you close the lid, you start to get some coffee dripping back down. So if your cup or carafe is not sitting there anymore, you get a nice puddle on the warming plate. So they've both had a chance to cool a little bit. Let's taste the coffees. So this is the Ninja system. Pretty good, pretty good. Not bad, still nice and warm. So that comes out pretty hot, that it's still warm now. It's been a few minutes. Uh, let's try the pour over. Similar temperature, but of course you would control the temperature of how hot the water is you pour in there. But I will say the pour over is, uh, it's smoother. Okay, so pour over does win as far as, uh, just pouring a single cup, taste-wise. The Ninja does really good with that as well. Definitely not bad. Um, but let's make a uh, shot of Nespresso. That's what this guy is really supposed to uh, bring to the table that Ninja didn't do before. So let's see how that works. We're comparing this unit, the Ninja unit, to the Breville Nespresso Creatista Plus. So let's see how well this stacks up to this unit here. Let's turn them on. Both warm up pretty quick. And what we're gonna use is our, I'll try to pronounce it, Inspira, Inspiration Frenzy. I'm sure I mispronounced that terribly, I'm very sorry. All right, let's pop in a capsule. Both are going to be set to the espresso setting. This one's already at espresso. We'll let this one know that we're making an espresso drink and it's already set at espresso. So they're both pretty much done. The Ninja is beeping, letting us know it's done. The Breville is not doing that. So I'll put these down and let's take a close up. But you can see they both have a pretty good crema level. The Ninja poured a bit of a shorter shot compared to the Breville. With the Breville, we get a denser, smoother looking crema, whereas with the Ninja, it's a little more bubbly. Let's taste them and see how they taste. So, the Ninja. Pretty good. Pretty good. The Breville. The Breville was a little warmer. I feel like it was a little smoother. I think you'd be pretty happy with this other than visually, I can tell that there's a bit of a difference. Um, we'll see a more significant difference when we try to make a latte because this will not heat up our milk. We have to put the milk in the microwave or however else you want to heat it up first and then go ahead and uh, get some foam going for the latte. Now, let's try a latte in our Ninja Espresso and Coffee Barista system. We're gonna do it on this machine, of course, and we'll also try it on the Breville unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start both units. I've heated up the milk already, so this milk is hot because this unit will not warm the milk up for us. Throw out the milk a little bit. This doesn't make microfoam for like latte art or anything. It just makes it pretty frothy, foamy. 
So that is what it is. Not going to really be able to do any latte art there. I'm going to go over and do the uh, milk here as well. You can see that the Breville unit just does a much better job giving you nice microfoam for latte art. Didn't do a great job there. Got some bubbles in there, which don't really want my latte art, but it's, it's okay. It's pretty good. You can see that the Ninja, it just makes foam. The final drink we'll make with our Ninja Espresso and Coffee Barista system is an iced coffee. Of course, it's going to be an iced espresso drink. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, choose the iced setting here or the over ice setting. So we'll push this button twice over ice. This one will use a standard espresso setting. I'll go ahead and get them brewed. And you'll see what's unique about this machine is that I can froth cold milk. Can't do that with this one. So it's either hot milk or regular milk, no foam. We'll go ahead and start the machines. Get some nice cold foam here. So this is nice, being able to have some cold foam on top of that, right at the top. That looks delicious. The other guy, you're just going to have to get some regular old milk. Much nicer presentation with the Ninja. It is what it is here with the uh, Breville. Definitely feel that cold foam at the top. This is really good. Let's try the Breville. Yeah, I definitely like the one with the Ninja. The cold foam just makes a huge difference. And there you have it, folks, our seven-minute review of the Ninja Espresso and Coffee Barista System. I think this is a great unit, depending on who it's for. It does a pretty good job in everything it does. It makes pretty good Nespresso uh, drinks, and it makes pretty good coffee. Not the best in either, but if you're looking for an all-in-one unit, you're looking for a gift for somebody, there are a lot of people that this would be great for. If you're looking for something that's going to do everything in one package, this will be that package for you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe, and we look forward to bringing you our next 7-Minute Review. My wife loves this one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our... Oh, wow, that wasn't even seated right. But... Huh. That would have helped. I have a lot of drinks I gotta make.